Hello everyone, my name is Heiner and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we finalized our oil setup in Grossini, so we have a nice setup here now uh, which uh, will run forever I guess, as long as we input water in here. We get natural gas out of here and crude oil which isn't too hot and we store everything now in this infinite storage here. So that's really nice. The issue is on Grossini, we were running on one coal generator and these plug slugs, but, um, oh, these plug slugs also, are also cramped, so that we have to do something about that. Uh, but n the fact that we installed this here, which takes a lot of power, 240, 480, 720 watts at the peak, um, it's a lot more than what we had before. We had this 120, which is actually 20 watts, and this also ran sometimes. So we were not really using a lot of power. Um, also, we have these uh, suit docks as well. So we are, we are losing a lot of power here. And in today's episode, I already hinted it to it in the previous one. I want to make a solution for that, and that is going to be all the way up to space. So we're going to go to space for the first time. And we're going to set up some solar panels. I mean, glass for that. And glass, we of course already made on the main planetoid. So, first of all, we want to set that up. I want to send over some glass. And I think I'm going to make three or four. I don't know. Um, let me see. Manufactured material. I think. Let's just make four. So we're going to send over 800 kilograms of glass. Uh, yeah, 800 kilograms should be very nice. So we're going to load that in here in the meantime. And uh, Bunny can already start digging over. I want to be in an atmo suit uh, when I get to space. So we're not going to dig through here, which would be the short way. We're actually going to go via this area here. So I'm going to dig as a seven uh, over like, uh, actually, can we avoid the abyssal light a bit more? Because that's slower and I don't really need to uh, dig it out. Then we're going to go up. Uh, we use, let's use sandstone. We have some sandstone here, right? We're going to just use sandstone, I guess. I'm going to make a ladder up also as a seven all the way up to here and i want to make a kind of a liquid lock here so we're going to use this construction here we're going to make some tiles out of probably granite what is this this is granite i need to dig out this as well and then we're going to make some granite tiles here as an eight like there 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 and there and then one here as well and then this will be a liquid lock once we're done with that so let's dig out some more let's also make this an eight uh, we're gonna dig up until the stuff that is not gonna drip down so we're gonna go this far uh, and this should be wait let me actually because this has to be done first before we dig out here i want this to be ready before we spill the liquid down uh, because i don't want to lose it that will mean we lose our um, liquid lock so let's let bunny already start with this and we have to kill off a um, plug stack actually let me see we need one of the very very old ones let me see this one is elderly 94 it's 97 so let's attack this one and let's do that like this so that I know for sure that she does this first. Okay. I'm going to let the meat spoil there because we're not going to cook it anyway. Uh, where are you going, buddy? Is this the same? Oh, that's the same priority. That's fine. So these batteries here are... Um, nice, but I want to move them back a little bit. So we're going to deconstruct these here. Let's also set this as a seven. Seven is okay. And I want to deconstruct these two here. 
because I want to make uh, another layer of tiles below that. And I'm also, but I guess I'm going to do all of this as a six. I'm going to make some heavy watt wires because we're going to swap this out for heavy watts. The first two are going to be exchanged for some transformers. Um, I think we have to go until here. And then it's going to go we'll continue like that. And then here also we need to connect these. And I want to have a wait am i doing this all now as, as an eight six six please so power a heavy watt joint plate as a six and we're gonna go down like here and then we're gonna make some more wires like so uh okay that is all deconstructed so we're gonna continue here and this is going to go up to space where we're gonna get our power and like that everything will be connected okay but yeah i want to turn to start digging a bit uh, this is not the most important part but she's doing this first anyway it's also seven i guess so some sedimentary rock as a six i can set up these and then also as a six we can set up this as well. So Bunny has some stuff to do. I guess she's still watering the plants. I hope she's going to dig now. This is all reachable, right? Yeah, it's reachable. There she goes, finally. This is not back pressuring anytime soon. So yeah, let's go back to the main planetoid because here I also want to start setting up more of these liquid storages. We're going to need many of them. Um, let's start with the internals, um, like so. Actually, I can just do this uh, <clears throat> by myself. We have seen the building of this, so we don't need to see this every time. So I'll be back when we are on the main, on the other planetoid again. All right, Bunny is already constructing this um, bottom of the liquid lock. There is some polluted water melting here. I hope it stays melted. This Weezwort will try to help with that, keeping everything cool as much as possible. But yeah, she's making her way up here. Unreachable deck. Yeah, we have to build some ladders here first. All right, making good progress. I guess the glass is already loaded so let's drop it here and that means that the glass will come over to Grossini where we will be able to uh, queue up four solar panels so let's also show that here we will add glass to the list and you can see we already have 600 kilograms of grass and she's already done with all of this. Nice. So we can start digging out this. Uh, and wait, this first, please. No, 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 no. Please build this first. Okay. Thank God. Um, so yeah, we have glass. We have 800 kilograms, so we can set up four. So let's do that. Uh, we have here a floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set the two tiles above that. And we're going to start all the way on the side. We don't need any um, rocket platforms here. Because we have the teleporters. So we're just going to fill this up all with uh, solar panels. So we're going to do it like that, that. And I'm going to make one more here. For that we also need to dig out some stuff. And I guess we can just build this from here. Heavy watt wires also as an eight connect all of these up and then we're going to go down and we're going to go down. Um, let me see a ladder. We have a liquid lock here. I guess we can go down either here. But we already have a piece of ladder. Yeah, let's actually go up here. We cannot build this, so I guess there's a ladder. Uh, so we're going to dig up 
all of this here. Oh, we can build, yeah, we can build a, heavy water wire on there, like so. And then we can also see this anti-entropy thermal nullifier, which maybe we will ever use in the future. I'm not sure yet, uh, we will see. For now, I'm just interested in the power. And this seems like a nice and efficient way to get there. And we have a liquid lock, so the, Oxygen here, which is actually pretty high pressure, is not going to go into space, which is um, an advantage. Let's say it like that. In the meantime, I also want to deconstruct this one and this one. Because I want to set up some um, transformers. And actually, I also want to exchange these power wires because they want. I want to connect them to the, to the power providers to the sources of power uh, we're gonna make a I want to make a joint plate and I think I'm gonna make it here will be a bit nicer because I think you can just connect it like this and I can connect it like this but I have to be careful because I don't want or oh, I can just connect it there let's do it here for now I don't want her to run through here to get to space. So I need to be a little bit careful here. All right, surface breach. We have been to space, I guess. Uh, we have here one more granite piece that we cannot reach, apparently. So let's make a ladder there. But yeah, we have to look out. Space is not nice. So we are getting radiation from space. We need to be a little bit careful what we do. Actually, if we have the transformers here, I think they will be like this. But we can also, oh, we made that out of iron. A lot of iron, why is this iron? Make it out of cobalt. Like so. Bunny's day is up. Still has quite some things to make there. Um, yeah, this all has to be made. And this is all as an 8. I guess that's fine. How's our radiation at the moment? It's at 0. So yeah, this can be done first. Unreachable. Why is that? Oh, we don't have power. Ah. We need to make sure that we get power. That's not good. And this is exactly the problem. Uh, we are generating not enough power. That means that Bunny now cannot go through here. So yeah, fill up the coal generator. That should keep us running for a bit. Um, yeah, destroy this uh, ba these two batteries before they are charged too much. Can you please do this one as well? I don't want to charge up the wrong one. And then we can set up two transformers. One uh, as a seven is okay there, and one here. Yeah, the cobalt uh, means we have to walk around a bit, a little bit. Um, we do have some cobalt here, which I could mine out. Let's make this a uh, an eight as well. So the cobalt is a little bit closer. It's a couple tons of cobalt. Should help with the, the run times. How much is this? It's only 391 tons left. We have some granite here. Let's make some granite uh, ladders. Because there's more cobalt here. And we're going to dig up as an aid like so and then over like this and then these also just to have a bit more cobalt ready to go because otherwise she has to get out of the suit every time pick some cobalt here or here and it's not going to be very efficient 
And now we have a ton of cobalt here. How's the radiation? 21, that's fine. I guess now she's gonna get the glass, which is here. No, she's not. Oh, she's gonna water the plants. Of course, also very important. Bog jelly, uh, that's not good. What is this set to? It's set to a six. Yeah, we need to store the bog jelly actually. Anyway, let's go back to the main planetoid where we are making another storage. As you can see, we already built uh, a lot of it. The power is in, the liquid pipes are in, the automation is in, just like before, same as before. Uh, let me deconstruct this because I don't want that to accidentally get inside. We can build this here and then we can also build uh, as an eight apparently let's make that as a six that's uh, more than enough we can also build this and this and then we can just close it off i guess i'm also making a ladder here this is where one of the power spines is going to be once we have everything cleared out but yeah still a lot to do and first i want to have this ready in case we get some different liquids because now we have polluted water we have oil and we're gonna also have some regular water i guess make sure that when this one is built the debris does not fall down but i guess it goes on top right it does okay perfect so now we can close this off igneous rock there we go that should be it and this is set to one gram per second so we're all ready where's bunny bunny is at the end of her schedule again so we have to wait for the next one all right, here's our first solar panel coming up. It's not going to feed power into our system yet because the cables are not done yet. But yeah, the plug slugs are still doing a little bit of work, keeping us up and running. We backed up a lot of water because of the power outage. So maybe I have to lower this valve a little bit. Uh, okay. And there the first solar panel is up is generating 40 51 watts it's still early in the morning they will generate the most power after uh, well at midday um, but we will see how much how much they give at maximum it should be uh, somewhere around 300 to 350 watts and if we have that four times that's gonna be plenty of power over the day and then we have these also as a little backup at night. Alright, last solar panel is in now. Now we just need to have the power wires. Luckily we have some cobalt ore here prepared. So that should be done fairly quick, at least this part. Alright, we need to keep an eye on how we make this work. I can we I think we can disconnect this now here and deconstruct these. All the power will go via these power transformers. We have a bit of extra power cable here which will disappear once we're done. And of course this we have to connect, but for that we also have to disconnect this and I'm not 100% ready for that just uh, or am I? We have the power here yeah we cannot feed power back if we do that so we have to have at least this cable done before we open any of that up i guess this here can also be a like that so we can add one more battery here and close this off plug stocks will not eat the lead because it's refined and they also ain't only eat uh, the raw ores so that is okay Guess the plants need to have water again. Sure, go ahead. Oh, it's the end of the day again for Bunny. So let's go back to here again where our dupes are still digging out neutronium. It's a very tedious task. It's very slow. But uh, as I said in the last episode, I want to have this cleaned out. So we have a nice and smooth side here uh, for our power spine. 
And then we can also set up already here a liquid pump because this at some point has to be pumped out. We can connect power for it. Uh, let's go like so, I guess. And then we also need to have a liquid pipe. Uh, it's going to go in here. I'm not going to connect it yet. And this is going to come over uh, with not priority on this line. This is a bit of a weird situation. But I want the oil to go first. Otherwise, this oil will back up. Because this line will be constantly providing a liquid. And so that is not going to be okay. It's basically the same as here. The oil goes first. And if there's room, then this line can come. Uh, I don't want to connect it up yet. Because we're still pumping out this water. Uh, which... Actually, we can also mop up a bit. This, of course, we cannot. And we can look how everything is going here. We're looking at a nice temperature. Still making a lot of glass. And it's still going to be very, very cold. So that is all perfect. Let's see how Bunny is doing. Um, she's constructing stuff here. We have no power in these. Oh yeah, because this is not connected. Let me see. These are now generating power, I guess. Once these are done with the night, I can remove those from the basic line. And we will just wait until this is connected. But yeah, the night has to be over. And then I'll disconnect them from the main line here. And then we can hook up the transformers for them to work properly. So there we go. We take the scissors. We disconnect this. We disconnect this. And now we're going to just disconnect this one. And now our power is all going. Uh, the backbone is all this thick wire. This will be done before the next night. And this is only for consumers. Just the way it should be. Now we just need to hook up the solar panels. All right, this is now connected so the plug slugs will be able to hang uh, on the heavy watt wire. We are generating power, that's the coal generator. Uh, but yeah, we need a couple of wires here still for our solar panels to come into action. The Solar panels are at 257 watts, almost midday. I guess they're not going to reach 300, actually. Come on, bunny. Are you going... Oh, is it the end of the day again? Oh, boy. We're running very low on power again. That's not good. I really need to connect this. And I think we're very close. Yeah, we need 100 kilograms of cobalt again. I hope she brings it. She does not. But well, that's very inefficient, uh, Bunny. A little bit disappointed. Are you going back again? What is going on? Are you kidding me? Okay, we took the 100 cobalt ore that we needed. So now, finally, it should be connected uh, right before the night. So our solar panels are not uh, making anything anymore. Um, but yeah, they're dead now. But the cables are connected. Uh, right now, the plug slugs are doing their work. They're not generating a lot of power anymore. But it is what it is. Um, let me sweep this up here too. And this as well. Make this a bit cleaner. But yeah, we'll wait for the next day and then we will see this go up quite dramatically because we are running pretty low on coal here. We're using a lot of it to get everything running and that should really be um, better after this. All right, it's daytime now, so our solar panels are generating power, and we will see here that, can we see that on the power wire, uh, energy, power stored, this is going to go faster and faster, we're generating, well, this is not 380 each, they're generating less, they're generating good amount of power, and this should now, 
I hope raised to a good amount where we don't need to uh, jump back onto the coal generator anymore. Let's say the coal generator, let's lower it down a bit more from 10 to 40. That is where the coal generator jumps in. It's uh, if you're at lower than 10%, it kicks in. And when you, we are above 40%, so at 16 kilojoules per battery, then we stop um, with the coal generator again. How are we with water here, by the way? We are still backed up a little bit. I guess that's also because we emptied this just now. So yeah, the day is almost over and we can see after one day our batteries are half full and trust me, that's not going to deplete during one night. Uh, even with our plug slugs not being super powerful right now. So we're going to be just fine now with these batteries and the solar panels. So that's really, really nice. Um, we can open this up, but I don't need it yet. Um, so yeah, that was basically the main task of this episode. So after the night, we still have over 18 kilojoules left. Uh, they are still dropping because of our power. Um, our solar panels are not generating that much power yet. But uh, yeah, we're fine here now. All right. That was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and see you in the next video.